Now it's time for News Extra, brought to you by Intralinks. And here again, Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Really pleased this morning to have Anthony Mason here, the Riverside Discovery Center Zoo Director. And, of course, when you're talking October, that means he's a very busy guy because you have a lot of things going on at the zoo. How you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. You bet. <laughs> All right. First thing we got to talk about, we're going to talk about Spooktacular and uh, the third annual Night at the Haunted Museum. We're going to talk about that first because it's already started. It's over in Gehring at what used to be Wildlife World, right? Correct. Uh, it's 950 U Street over in Gehring. And, uh, yeah, we kicked off last weekend, so we had a lot of people coming out and getting scared. And, uh, of course, we're doing it again this Friday and Saturday. And, of course, for everyone out there, this Friday is October Friday the 13th, so scariest day of the year, and, uh, you know, we're expecting a pretty busy night, so hoping a lot of people come out and uh, get spooked. (laughs) All right, so uh, it's my understanding you got, like, two floors, and you have, like, about 13 scenes, Yeah, it's... it's (laughs) We gotta let people know this is scary, right? It is. It's really scary. We're we're having people, you know, go in and and uh, you know we tell them it's scary and they think they can handle it and then they're just backing out. So we're looking for brave souls to come out and uh, and go through this. It's it's definitely not for the weak of heart. You know, we it's it's a really scary event. Uh, we recommend ages thirteen and up, um, or uh, if you're under thirteen, to be accompanied by an adult. Uh, but we we definitely recommend this one for the brave at heart all right it's ada accessible that's a good thing yeah so it, it's uh it's ada accessible but uh that means uh because of the nature of the building um that uh it's just for the first floor but we do uh, half price um if if it's uh if you need that okay you have concessions t-shirts All kinds of ways for you guys to try to make some money here. (laughs) Yep, yep, because this is a fundraiser for the zoo also. It's a lot of fun. We love doing it for the community uh, and and putting this out there for everyone, and it it is a good fundraiser for the zoo. Um, And, yeah, you can swing by and get a shirt at the zoo or at the the Haunted Museum itself, and if you pick up a shirt, you also get a discount going into the Haunted Museum too. That's good. 7 to 10 p.m. on the nights they are open. And it's uh, this Friday and Saturday, and then it says 27th through the 31st as well. Yep. You guys open it all, uh, what is it, the 20th and 21st? Well, the Haunted Museum won't be open that that, weekend because we've got Spooktacular spooktacular going. Okay. All right. That's the reason. So uh, $10 per victim. Yep, yep. Um, so, uh, of course, uh, that that's what we're considering. Anyone willing to go and brave the haunted museum? <laughs> All right. Well, I like it. I like the fact that it's it's spooky. It's supposed to be. Yeah, right? yeah. It's it's honestly we you know it's uh, we think it's got to be one of the best haunted houses in the region. You know, and and we're you know lucky to be able to have something like that here um, in Scotts Bluff that can uh, you know scare the pants off everyone and be a great fundraiser for the zoo. All right. That's uh, the uh, third annual haunted mu- uh, night at the Haunted Museum. Again, 13th and 14th, 27th through the 31st, 7 to 10 p.m. It's only $10, and uh, uh, we'll hope a lot of people go. All right, we'll talk about the spooktacular right after this. Is your wireless computer network secure? With their years of professional service, you can trust Intralink's technical solutions to keep your small or medium business computer system up and running. Not having a secure wireless network can put your computers at risk. Call Intralink's at 632-6590 to have one of their highly experienced techs set up, troubleshoot, and secure your wireless network. For weekly tips and information, friend Intralink's on Facebook at intralinks.net slash Facebook. Facebook. Back on News Extra, we're uh, here with Anthony Mason, the uh, Riverside Discovery Center Zoo Director. We just talked about the third annual night at the Haunted Museum. You can still go. Uh, there's plenty of nights available this Friday and Saturday night. The 27th through the 31st, you can go. It's over at the Old Wildlife World location, 950 U Street in Gearing. Just ten dollars to go to that now we're going to talk about spooktacular believe it or not the 29th annual spooktacular and uh, when does it run 
Uh, so the 29th annual Spooktacular is from October 20th through the 25th, and that'll be from 6.30 to 8 p.m. And uh, this is a much more family-friendly event. So, you know, if you check out the Haunted Museum uh, for, you know, uh, older kiddos and older folks, um, the Spooktacular is for families. Bring the little guys out. And uh, it's, uh, you know, we encourage everyone to dress up and, you know, wear their costumes. And it's a much more family-friendly event at the zoo. That's right. Concessions available there. Uh, you can win prizes. Is yep. that right? Yep. We'll have prizes available. Um, if you come out on the 22nd, um, we've got um, different uh, – we're doing a scavenger hunt that night. And then every night uh, uh, during Spooktacular, we actually have slightly different activities going on at our stage. So we'll be doing different types of games and things each night to try and, you know, if you come back multiple nights, make it a little bit different. That's cool. All right. Uh, highlights this year. Uh, the things that are going on, you got like a Guardians of the Galaxy laser tag? Yeah, yeah, we're doing a Guardians of the Galaxy themed laser tag. Um, we've got a Harry Potter theme in our maze. Um, so, uh, you know, different types of games and activities. So we, we try and keep it fresh and change it up each year and move things around. Um, you know, that way the people come year after year have something, you know, remember it a little bit differently each time. And uh, the Midwest Theater Zombie Walk, you're, per you're kind of in with those folks, so you can kind of do both for a discount, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we're happy to be participating with Midwest Theater on that this year. So you can pick up a combo pack either at the Midwest Theater or over at the zoo. And if you get that, that gets you discounted admission into Spooktacular um, and discounted admission into a screening of Paranorman, which is part of their zombie walk this year. Um, so, um, you know, pick up both and, and save, you know, lot, lots of fun. And, and when you get that ticket, it's one you can use any night of Spooktacular. It's not for one specific night. So get your tickets in advance. All right. That's a good idea. And uh, volunteers and sponsors always need volunteers, right? Yes. Yeah, we definitely always need volunteers. We've got a lot of great people already helping us out, but always looking for more. And uh, this year we've got a lot of great sponsors, and we want to thank all of them. And we encourage everybody to check out our website and see who our sponsors are this year. And uh, definitely, uh, you know, go and check out their businesses. If you want to uh, uh, volunteer, email them at uh, education at riversidediscoverycenter.org or be a sponsor or uh, simply call the zoo if you want to be a sponsor. Yeah, yeah, you can you can call us up if you want to volunteer, if you want to sponsor, or really volunteer any time of the year. All right. Sounds good, Anthony. You're going to be busy, man. Yeah, I'm always busy. Thank you for having me on. Oh, you bet. Anthony Mason, Riverside Discovery Center Zoo Director. Get on out to either the Haunted Museum Spectacular or both this month.